So I've got a BMW F10. And you can hear this hissing noise. So that's the evaporator making that noise. It's an obvious sign of a low charge system. Outside the car we had an ambient temp of about 23, 24 degrees, I believe it was. Uh, the vent temp's gone up because the car's not been running. It's sat here and just heat soaked, basically. Um, the, as you can see, the car is up to operating temperature, coolant wise anyway. So if we did have, say, a heater deviation, we would definitely see it. Um, I'm going to stick the AC on now. We'll just um, wind it down to about three or four fan speed. Um, the aircon is operational, so it is actually working. As you can see, the temperature is going to start pulling down, but it is only pulling down to about 25 degrees Celsius. So this is very, very inefficient system. Like I say, we've got this this noise we can hear, this hissing noise. Um, like I say, that is indicating that generally that you've got a low charge system. These modern systems do tend to be very small in their capacity, so once they're down a small amount, they will. Um, it will show a performance um, issue very quickly, basically. Um, I'm going to see what we can get it down to now, just so you can see what it is running. So yeah, it looks like we're getting down to about 26 degrees Celsius, uh, and that's where we're about, so we're about to sit. So a very inefficient system, and uh, we'll take some pressure readings off of the aircon uh, itself, at the manifold, uh, at the service ports. We'll attach our manifold gauges, and uh, we'll take some pressure readings. So before we attach our gauges, I'd just like to have a look inside the Schrader valves and just have a look in the service ports to see if there is any signs of leakage. And we can actually see bubbling coming out of this high pressure service port. So that is a source of a leak right there. And we can look at it with the UV torch and we can see UV dye. We can just see bubbles. So without the UV lens and the UV light, we can now see aircon gas just escaping past that closed Schrader valve. So there should be nothing leaking past at this point. But this leaking, this Schrader valve is actually allowing gas past, and you can just see it bubbling and boiling off as it hits the ambient temperature. Because I believe R134A boils at something like minus 27 or 28 degrees or something Celsius. So as soon as it hits ambient temp, it just boils straight away. So our static pressure is around the 5 bar mark. As you can see, 500 kPa. I convert that into bar. It looks at about 4.9 to be honest. Um, yeah, so we'll run the engine now and we'll make a comparison with what the compressor is pulling down on the blue on the left here. So this is our low side, this is our high. We want to see this go low and we want to see this go higher. So it is indeed pulling down on the low side. I would say that it is pulling down probably too much and the high side isn't actually going up high enough. So I've already done this test once, it only dro drops it's dropping down to about 0.7 bar, which is probably too low, showing a low charge, and we're going up probably um, only up to about, well, I think, 7.5 bar. We should be getting up to about 12 on this ambient temp, I reckon, about 12 bar. Um, anything above 10 I'd be happy, but this is just... Um, everything pointing towards uh, a low charge, low efficiency, the noise we're hearing in the cabin. Because it's such a low charge rate, we're pulling the pressures way too low because the compressor is still efficient, but it's just not got the, um, the charge there to pull against, basically. Uh, and as you can see there, we're at now six bar, 600 kPa. This is what we should be seeing with, with static pressures, not running pressures. We should be way up here somewhere, about 12. Um, so yeah everything pointing at that and like we see with our leaking straight about um, we clearly do have a leak there so we'll uh, take the gas out of the system and we'll replace that straight valve gas it all up and retest it we'll retest the performance of the system recheck for leaks so now we've got the aircon machine attached and we're going to start pulling all the gas out of the system um, it will measure the amount of gas and the amount of oil removed and then we'll um, remove the high pressure line and we'll re replace that Schrader valve that's leaking and then we can uh, regas the system uh, and recheck the leaks and obviously prove that the uh, the system is then able to work so we want to always test full functionality after any repair and before any repair so just um, performance testing so we can see as it's been recovering it's only taken out 76 grams of R1348 aircon gas and 4 grams of oil from the system so this is very undercharged. 
This system takes 850 grams of R1348. So that's got the new Schrader valve in and we'll just clean off all this UV dye from around um, the uh, service port once we've charged it. So we'll now attach our uh, machine again and recharge the system up to um, its correct capacity and we'll redo the performance testing. So we've now got the system all gassed up and as we can see the temperature inside the cabin out the centre vent is starting to come down. So we'll just see where it gets down to and that will be our performance test. So we'll put this on fast and we actually hold it. So that's more like what we want to be seeing. Let's get in there. System's only been operating about a minute now. If we can get somewhere close to six, I'll be happy. There we go, so that's a very efficient system now. So we've gone to some, from somewhere like 70 grams up to I think about 750 or 850 grams, whatever this system was. So no wonder we're actually now getting it down. Look how low that's going. So this is a very efficient system now. I still think we've got an ambient temp outside the car of around something like 23, 24 degrees. Look at that. You can't want much more than that. Now the system will stop it going down to freezing because it doesn't want the evaporator to ice up. That's spot on. So we're getting down to 2 degrees now. So we'll call that a fix. We'll just do a uh, quick check over of the system again and check that Schrader valve is sealing. Um, there's no reason why it shouldn't now because it's a complete new valve core.